In my last video, I talked about the short cross-court return of serve, specifically aiming to the outside corner of the service box. This should be your primary return of serve for doubles. But to keep your opponents off balance and guessing, you need a second return of serve. I'd highly recommend you mix in the lob return of serve. It will keep the net person at home. It'll keep them from becoming too active and it'll keep them hesitant to poach. So just like the short cross court return, it will put you and your partner in the offensive position and an opportunity to win the point. There are five keys to hitting an effective lob return of serve. Number one, you want to be able to hit the lob return of serve on either your opponent's first or second serve. This keeps the opponents off balance and guessing. Number two, I'd prefer you to use the continental grip. My index knuckle, my first index knuckle, is on the top right hand bevel of the grip. The fourth key is know your target area. I like our players to aim halfway between the service line and the baseline. And the left to right target is if you divide the service court in half and go out to the double sideline, this makes an awesome return of serve target and will be a very effective place for you to aim. Fifth, know how high to aim this lob return of serve. You want to aim it high enough to get over the net person's reach, but you don't want to have it so high your opponents have all day long to see it coming and to chase down each and every lob. I'm going to be serving some first serves so that Dave on the other side of the net can practice his lob return of serve with underspin. And what we're shooting for is for his ball to go high enough over our imaginary net person and drop right into our target zone. David has committed to hitting the underspin lob return of serve whether he's going to take a look at hitting the first serve or the second serve. He's changed his grip to the continental grip before the server even begins to serve. Notice how David prepares to hit the underspin lob return of serve. He starts with the racket high, contacts the ball at his waist, and finishes high. The swing looks similar to the letter U with soft hands. Remember, your return of serve is your first strike of the ball. Make it an offensive opportunity. Your primary return of serve should still be the return that goes to the outside corner of the service box, but mix in the underspin lob return of serve, and you're going to be winning a lot more matches. Good luck, have fun, and we'll see you at the net.